Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I'm a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on the HackerRank Interview Preparation Kit. This is our first greedy algorithms problem, and it is the minimum absolute difference in array problem. Let's get to it. The absolute difference is the positive difference between two values A and B is written absolute value of A minus B or absolute value of B minus A, and they are equal. If A is equal to three and B is equal to two, the absolute value of three minus two is equal to the absolute value of two minus three, which is equal to one. Given an array of integers, find the minimum absolute difference between any two elements in the array. And then it gives some examples, some further instructions. Um, basically, what we're supposed to be doing here is writing a function that's returning the minimum absolute difference found between any two elements in the array. Now, the naive way of solving this uh, would be to go ahead and loop through all of the variable, all the uh, elements of the array, and then compare them to each other. So you could do a double for loop where you have two, uh, but that's that's too slow. That's going to be n squared time because we have to go through all of the var uh, variables multiple times. So we're iterating through that array several times before we get through all of the possible combinations. Implementing a greedy algorithm, we could say, well, if we just take the answer that looks best at this current moment and then keep moving on, we can go through it in n time, assuming that we have a sorted array. And we know from our previous problems using something like merge sort, we can sort our array n in log n time. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to sort the array, and then we just have to compare the elements that are immediately next to each other as they are the closest elements to each other. And then we can iterate through the array a single time, making it n plus n log n time, which is much, much faster than n squared time. OK, so let's go to coding this solution. Let me move this all the way over here. And hopefully it gives us enough space to see this. Uh, maybe try doing that. There you go. Okay, I think this is good. All right, so first let's define a few things. We're gonna have an int uh, kermin. We're gonna set this to infinity. Uh, they have the infinity macro set for us already. This just gives us the largest uh, possible value for an integer right off the bat. Uh, and then we're going to have an int temp min, and we're going to set this equal to negative one. All right, so we've got our current min, which is equal to infinity, our temp min, which is equal to negative one. And uh, the first thing we're going to do before anything else is we're going to sort this array. We're going to use the built-in sort function, um, and we're just going to call it on array.begin and array.end. And after that call, we now have a sorted array with, so any two variables that we get that are side by side is going to be the smallest difference between those two variables. Now we just iterate through the array a single time. And we'll start with i equal to one. This way we can take the ith element and the ith minus one element. Uh, without having to do any fancy thinking on the next part here, which is going to be going the array dot size number of digits. Um, and then uh, increment our i. And then we're going to be setting our temp min equal to the array at element i minus the array at i minus 1. Uh, so we start off with one, so it'd be one and zero, and then it'd be two, two and one, three, three and two, four, four, and so on and so forth, all the way through the array. Um, however, this could result in a negative number. If that's the case, we want to absolutify it. So we're going to take temp min, uh, if it's less than zero, we are going to say temp min times equals negative one. And that'll just flip the uh, sign if it's negative. Um, and then if temp min is less than cur min, 
then we are going to set cur min equal to temp min. And this will just be updating our current best value that we found so far. And then at the very end of all the for loops, we just simply return our cur min. And that should do it. So all we're doing here is we're sorting our array so that any two variables in the array are at their closest distance to another variable in the array. We then are walking through that array, comparing these elements that are side by side, which is their next to their closest partner. And then we're ca uh, calculating their differences and then keeping track of which one is currently the smallest. And at the very end, we return that smallest value. Uh, so let's go ahead and run. Success and submit our code. And we passed everything. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, I've noticed I've been getting a lot more subscriptions. Uh, thank you. Please keep those up. Uh, I do plan on eventually branching out and start doing more uh, content about like interviews in general, what the process is like, what to study for it, uh, the industry as a whole, getting a career as a software engineer or uh, data scientist or whatever else. Um, so if you're interested in seeing some of those, uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below and uh, let me know what you're wanting to look, look for. Uh, also, if you want to help out this channel, please give it a thumbs up on this video. Uh, and just any comment whatsoever really helps push the videos on the algorithm. Uh, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.